Do you have a pillar story for when you interview with clients? What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Erin. I talk tips, tools, and tutorials for virtual assistants. And this week we are talking about the importance of having a pillar story for when you interview with clients. A pillar story, if you are unfamiliar with the concept, is a memorable personal or professional story that you can share with your clients. The most important thing about a pillar story is that it will typically highlight a significant achievement, a challenge, or it is a story that clearly demonstrates your skills as a virtual assistant. Pillar stories are a pretty typical thing in corporate settings, but I think they serve an important purpose for us freelancers as well, because our interviews are typically a little different than the traditional interview. Clients don't usually get on the phone and ask us things like, where do you see yourself in five years? Pillar stories can be really powerful when used right, because they showcase relevant skills. For example, you might have a pillar story that demonstrates your exceptional organizational skills. Or maybe you have a story that really showcases your problem solving abilities. The second purpose of a pillar story is to be memorable and grab your client's attention. Uh, theoretically, your prospective client is going to be interviewing anywhere from five to 10 other virtual assistants. And chances are a lot of people like you have similar ways that they run their business. You and 10 other VAs might all be saying, here are my skills, here are my services, these are my rates, hope to work with you. But if you have a pillar story, if you have something memorable that grabs their attention and creates a strong connection with that client, it will make you more memorable and relatable so that later on when the client's going back through all of their interviews, they'll remember you because you had a great pillar story. Another reason we wanna work on a pillar story for you guys this week is because it provides hardcore evidence about your qualifications and it also is about how you use your skills in real world situations. It can be hard to provide evidence as a freelancer. Like I could get on a phone with a client and be like, I'm the best virtual assistant in the world. <laughs> And there's absolutely zero proof that that is true. So if you have a pillar story, something that really showcases how great you are at problem solving or organization or time management, that can really work to your advantage as well. Now in the second half of the video, I want to help you craft your own pillar story. Pillar stories basically have elements that make it really, really strong. And the first is that we need to select a relevant story to your client. It's really important that you choose a pillar story that is relevant to the skills or the job requirements that your clients are looking for. If you're talking to a client and they have expressed that you have to have exceptional time management skills, then you need to share a pillar story where you have successfully managed maybe a project with tight deadlines or you've juggled a bunch of different projects and you didn't miss any deadlines or no balls were dropped. On the flip side, if a client has posted something online and they're like, I need a VA who's great at time organization and you talk to them and you're like, oh my God, my travel booking skills are unparalleled. While that might be true, the client's gonna be like, great, but I don't travel at all, so how can you help me with time management? So the second part of choosing the right pillar story is customizing it to the client. Right now, I'm gonna share one of my pillar stories with you, and I have several different pillar stories that I like to pick and choose based on what it is that my clients are looking for. This particular pillar story that I'm about to share with you is only relevant if I have clients who are doing lead generation, uh, or doing a lot of cold outreach or sales pitches. So one of my pillar stories uh, is about how in 2014, I faced this truly unique challenge. I was tasked with a client by reaching out to this international band called Pussy Riot. If you are unfamiliar with the band, they are a feminist protest and performance band based out of Russia. They were doing a lot of great things at the time. They were very outspoken about LGBTQ issues in Russia, they were really outspoken about feminism, they were really outspoken about anti-authoritarianism. And my client asked me to not only find them, but connect with them and invite them to speak at a festival in the United States for free, by the way. Now at the time, they had no contact information available online and they had never been to the United States before. So I was seemingly tasked with the impossible, but undeterred, I embarked on this investigative journey 
and I leveraged my expertise in online research and networked with industry professionals. After weeks of effort, I discovered a subtle connection through a mutual musical agent, and this connection helped me open the door and finally connect with Pussy Riot. Through all of my culturally sensitive communications with them, I was able to establish a dialogue with the band's representatives, and the initial contact eventually led to a negotiation of their appearance at the festival, making it their very first ever speaking engagement in the United States. So that story is true, but it is also one that I tell clients if it comes up, but it's also one that I tell if I'm speaking to a client who's heavy on lead generation, heavy on cold outreach. It is something that I tell them to showcase my commitment to finding and connecting with hard to reach individuals. So I tell you that pillar story so that you can hopefully, after this video plays, start to think through some of your pillar stories. What have you done that's been an incredible job? What have you done that's been an amazing, either personal, win or professional win. It could either be in your current freelance work or it could be at a company previous to your virtual assistance work. The important thing to remember here though is that you are choosing relevant stories that you can customize to your clients. Uh, not all your pillar stories are going to be relevant. You have to pick and choose the aspects that are relevant to what the client wants, that are relevant to the job. And you have to structure your story so that it has a clear problem, action that you took, and positive outcome. And then finally, when you think you have your pillar story or a few pillar stories chosen, it's really important that you practice telling the story to really ensure that they're impactful and that they're well rehearsed. My hope for you in this video all about pillar stories is that as you go into the new year and you think about new clients that you wanna reach out to, that you have a couple pillar stories in your mind, tucked in your back pocket, so that if they say anything to you like, um, you know, have you ever dealt with a challenge in your business before? You don't have to think. You don't have to sit there and awkwardly be like, um, that's a good question. You can be like, bam, I have a story about challenges. Or bam, I have a story about how I did X, Y, Z, and this is what happened. And this was the outcome for my clients. Having a pillar story like that just makes you look prepared. It makes you memorable. Hopefully, there's this fun connection uh, during your interview as well. If you guys already have a pillar story that you go to again and again and again, share it below with the group. I'm super curious to see what kind of stories you guys are sharing with your clients on your interviews. And if you don't already have a pillar story, hopefully this video will get you thinking about what kind of stories you can craft to make you a really memorable, awesome virtual assistant that you are. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video and I will catch you on the next one.